Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you an update. Uh, this is the 1972 Volkswagen bus or West Valia camper bus. Um, we've, we've made a tremendous amount of progress and I apologize we're, we're way behind in updating or sharing with you um, how much work has, has been going on. It's been really busy in the shop, very loud, it's very difficult to film during the day because um, we got, uh, I guess there's eight of us total, so it's really hard to get everybody to stop at the same time and be quiet uh, long enough to shoot a video. So, um, lots of progress as I mentioned. So in the front here, we'll just briefly go through, um, and then we have a slideshow later on that will share uh, the stages to, to how we got to this, this area or this section. But you can see this whole front floor area. Uh, we removed the shifter, the parking brake assembly, the steering column, all the neat mechanical things that would be in the way to gain access to uh, this floor section. So we essentially, it had so many pinholes and rusted out sections, um, we decided that we were going to cut the whole thing out, drill all the spot welds out, remove it completely, and then replace it with a brand new uh, floor in the front. And then some of these floors don't, uh, they're not large enough. Uh, to cover the areas of rust, so we had to make our own pieces to go in here and in that outside step edge. So then later what we'll do is we'll end up grinding all of those smooth um, and then it'll be undetected that we've ever done anything with the floor. Uh, we've cut it in the same area, we've got all the spot welds in the same sections that the factory did. And then as we come along, so this is obviously our driver front section. In a later video we'll share with you, we've done a lot of work underneath which you're not really going to be able to see until we get it up on the hoist later. But our uh, jack posts and what they refer to as the outriggers, I think the camera can probably shoot in there. The lighting might not be perfect, but uh, we've basically reconstructed that whole inner wheel well section. So the, that first section back here they refer to as the outrigger, and then from here to this outside part is the jack post. And before we could weld all that in, it was all rotted, so we removed it reinforce it with square tubing inside for structure, made our own pieces here inside the wheel well um, and enclosed it all and then we made this piece that comes ac across so from here all the way down we've made that piece because they don't sell it um, so we're able to make it with our shrinker and stretcher um, machines that we have and then we welded all that into place. You can see this uh, outside uh, quarter panel or a rocker panel is new and installed. In an earlier video we shared with you where uh, we did this uh, rear wheel well section and rear quarter panel. <coughs> Pardon me, you can see here once again we have the brand new jack post and there's also a new outrigger. Uh, we've done that to both sides. So this is on our driver's side and then we'll kind of skip around the back where it's all rusty here. <coughs> sorry, we'll probably have to come around the other way. I've got my welder in the way, sorry about that. So. Um, Pretty rare van actually. It's a 72 uh, Volkswagen West Valia. Um, it is an actual camper van um, in terms of being a passenger type uh, vehicle as opposed to just a cargo. So then in the front section we still have to repair or replace this area. And this is uh, all of these holes and rusted sections. That's what this main floor looked like after it was sandblasted. Um, so we'll end up cutting that out and this will be new. Um, that's a piece that you can actually buy. It's just on back order. So we'll be replacing that. And now we've made tremendous progress here. Um, same idea from the other side. We have the new jack post. We have the new outriggers. Reconstructed all the wheel well on the inside. So it's all new steel and structurally strong. And then this is quite a huge job. <coughs> Pardon me. So you can see the floor is now gone. Um, we'll share with you what it looks like over there. It is incredible how much of a pain it is, uh, and Jeff can verify, um, to remove this. It's basically two large floor pan sections that join in the middle. Um, so we've, we've basically reconstructed everything on the outside. So we have uh, the reference mark of where everything is supposed to be uh, for this uh, structural step-in part, the section that the sliding door uh, rolls into, and then we have our, our lower channel uh, that we made. So everything is uh, nice and strong in here and where it should be, and then um, it is incredible the number of spot welds 
and welds all the way around the outside that the factory performs on these for structural strength. Um, so after many hours and, and of drilling and grinding, uh, we're able to remove that whole floor. And you can see uh, the remnants of it over there, um, just the number of holes. And then if we flip that to the back side, it was almost like Swiss cheese. There are so many holes and rusted through sections. Uh, to repair it properly, it would have been crazy with all the ribbing. So this is, uh, in my opinion, the best way to do it. Remove all of the nasty steel. We, we know now that all of our structure, our frame, and there's a perfect example, you can see that's our outrigger and jack post from this side where you can see it's all brand new. Uh, we've welded in the exact same locations that the factory did and then we've added some strength. There's some square tubing that you can't see uh, that's inside of that hollowed section to give it extra reinforcement or strength. So now that that floor is all out, uh, the new floors are coming and while we're waiting for those floors to arrive, we're working on the back. Our back filler panel came in, so kind of crazy. We'll go back around, sorry, with the, um, around the front of this 72 Volkswagen bus. And then as we come down across this way, uh, once again to the back section, because um, essentially we shared with you in an earlier video where the vehicle um, had an impact or a collision at one point Structurally, it wasn't as strong as it should have been, and it, it uh, kinked in a couple of locations. This outer piece was homemade and also bent and not in the right position. And we were lucky enough to get, we have a supplier who reproduces um, the exact uh, reproduction panel that goes in here through the back. Um, so this is an important piece. It's much heavier steel and everything basically gets locked in or attached to uh, this piece and we even have the uh, the two speed nuts uh, for the mounting position so it's actually going to be going in this way um, so a lot of work there's a, a great number of uh, holes uh, spot wells need to be drilled out before the old one can be removed once the old one is out we'll dry fit this in and then we can continue on doing our rear corners and tail light sections um, and the progress will continue. So we'll share with you an update once we have this back section done because it's quite a transition taking it from all this rust uh, to all brand new steel fully protected and uh, this 72 Volkswagen will get a new lease on life here shortly. So um, I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoStore.com